given the deer. No joke. I saw a mama deer and a baby deer today, and some leaves were falling out of the tree, and they looked they looked confused. They're like, "What's happening? Is it fall?" Cheekwood also uh, looking fantastic. Look at the troll, man. Doesn't he look so happy? Mercy sent this picture to us, and she said even the troll is happy about the weather. I think you'd be hard pressed to find anybody who isn't happy about this weather. It's just really easy and comfortable, and typically we are roasting and like all in the rotisserie spit right about now. Crisp, enjoy it. Tonight, you should get another good opportunity to see the full moon. It peaked last night, but it's still going to look big and bright. It's a super moon. The first of four we're expecting over the next four months. So enjoy that. Tomorrow, soak up that faux fall feeling because it's the last day. Once we get towards Thursday, Friday, the heat starts to crank. The humidity is not far behind it, and we'll be sizzling by next week. Typically, it's quite hot. We're around 90. Today, we touched 83. 83 with low humidity. If you didn't know it was August, I could probably trick you into thinking this was October, early October anyway. 70s for areas to the northeast, 80 in Nashville. It is an easy Tuesday nights, and Tuesdays aren't easy, so enjoy it. A couple clouds drifting across our eastern tier, and there's a little bit of cloud cover. Some showers that are decaying across Missouri. This may dance in tonight. I don't think it's going to obscure the view of that supermoon. I think it's going to give it a kind of cool spooky feel to it, like an early Halloween glimpse. 50s tonight becomes low 80s tomorrow. Last day. Last day in the low 80s. Once we get the Thursday, we start to pump, uh, pump the gas pedal. We're into the upper 80s. 90s as we head into this weekend, well above normal by Saturday, Sunday. Humidity also climbing with it. So we start to get that sizzle. We start to get that humidity coming back in. This, is, this coming weekend, it's the second to last weekend of August. If you can believe it, Labor Day weekend kind of on the early side this year. So we're closing out August on a fairly tranquil note, at least for the next couple days, and then we'll start to cook as we head into next week. Of course, the other big part of this has been monitoring kind of the on again, off again drought that has plagued parts of the area this summer. No drought relief expected in the next seven days. Data collected Tuesday to Tuesday. That map is released on Thursday. So our updated map Thursday may show some improvement from the weekend rain, but it wasn't much of a soaker. And clearly you can see between now and next Tuesday, we're not looking to collect any rain data as well. So likely ending August with increasing drought concerns and increasing heat as we head towards Labor Day, Carrie. Ooh.